Hello my Leo, so this is a very express overview love reading for situationships or singles, okay? So if you're on a happy marriage, engagement, partnership, this is not the reading for you. This is if you're single or you're questioning about somebody because you're not quite on, you're not quite off, situationship type vibe. This is it. So this is a three card overview with a clarifier from another tarot deck and I've got an oracle um, card energy as well. So you get a little bit of flavouring um, of the energy. Okay, so let's start with Leo's um, and let's see what is coming in for you. So let's begin with Leo in love. Let's see what is coming up for my Leo's. What? Well, I, I don't know whether a lot is going on with you Leo's, but they all just flew on the well, not on the floor, but they all flew on the table then. So let's start again. So one card at the moment for my Leos. What is coming in? Let's see the energy for my Leos. Uh, for what is coming in. There's a lot going on. Okay, I know that. Well, you ain't got time for nothing at the moment, okay? Because you are the Eight of Pentacles. So whilst love might be nice if you're single or you're questioning about somebody, you're kind of not fussed at the same time. I mean, you might be to a degree, but there's other things. You, you've you got bigger fish, fish to fry, okay? And it's almost like it's saying you're kind of done with investing all your time and energy into people and situations that turn out to just be a puff of smoke in the air and then it just goes and leaves you in the end, okay? But this is a good place to be because this is step one of you owning yourself, owning your worth, and once we are in that energy, then we attract the right people at the right time. Some of you have got a lot of projects to work on at the moment, or you could have just started to run your own business, um, but it's almost like, you know, there's action speak louder than words when this card comes in. So if somebody's not like kind of walking their talk, you're not investing a lot of time in that, um, which is an excellent place to be, okay? So let's see where this is going going so Leah's are not having any of it they are nobody's fool basically um and let's see what is coming in for you let's see what other energies are coming in uh which is wonderful it all pays off there will be somebody rushing in to come and talk to you at some point Leo's I'm not too sure when that will be but you've got the knight of wands coming in there so expect some communication um but with the justice card coming in a major arcana in the middle position which is external forces at play you could have a Libra you could be interested in somebody who's a Libra or has it in their placement somewhere but the balance comes in, okay? I also want to say, um, if somebody has kind of, um, I don't want to say necessarily been a horrible person, but almost like maybe not regarded your feelings or how you would feel about something, that will come around. There will be an awareness of that, not from you, but from them, okay? That won't fit for everybody, but that is for people who are I have been dating somebody or in talks with somebody at the moment, okay? Um, so that is going to be coming in quite nicely for you. But look at what happens first. It's asking you to keep yourself busy and to be like, whatever. I'm not expecting anything here. Because justice will be done, obviously, when the justice card comes in. Um, if you are single, you're not even thinking about anybody, then this would be a Libra type energy or air uh, coming in for you, uh, which will create the balance that is coming in. So the great thing I want to say here is you're not kind of sat at home with 20 cats waiting for the love of your life, the knight in shining armor knocking on your door, because you Leos are busy anyway. You've got enough going on. Um, but the justice comes in at the right time for you, okay? Um, this is somebody I feel um, who has it all going on with their job as well. So they could be quite high up in whatever that they do. And that would match you very well, because I feel with this, you've had your time with being the nurturer, with being the one that is always looking after somebody else sort of thing okay whilst that's good in kind of pockets of like now and then you don't want that to be your role in the next relationship that you have okay um so let's see what is coming in after that let's have a look what else is coming in for my leos you have a nine of wands I feel, Leo, to be honest, if you're asking about somebody, you will get to a point where you're a bit tired of them. That's what it's saying. It's saying that I don't know whether you trust them or your their words, just something not adding up a little bit. Um, karma is coming in. So whatever they've done behind the scenes or just not something isn't adding up. That's what I'm getting here. Um, and it's almost like you're not going to be too 
defeated by it but at the same time there is a level of disappointment coming in okay so we'll have a look with the overall cloud fire and see where this is going for you um but don't look at this person if you're talking about or thinking about somebody as the best thing okay because i feel they know how to work you they know how to press your buttons uh, but there just seems to be a sense of reality coming in with regards to this and this could be the last hurdle before you you meet the right person coming in for you anyway okay maybe this is a self-worth lesson that the, your guides are giving to you um but the justice card is so strong here it's really really good really really good omen for you uh, because it's showing either way you'll be happy either way but the nine of wands as an outcome isn't like skipping through the field sort of thing but at the same time it's you not allowing your ego or allowing any other factors to kind of swing you out of your groove sort of thing you're still going to be doing your own thing okay so maybe um your, your guys want you to focus on that more than anything else so let's have a look now um i just don't think someone's living up to what they're making out to be honest with you uh, let's have a look and see, ask me to tap, let's have a look and see uh, what's coming in as an overall clarifier and see what is coming in with this deck. Let's have a look. It's too many. Thank you. Because it all works out in the end. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Because you have the victory card, which is the six of wands. She's, she's not sad, guys, in this card. She's being noticed. Maybe someone's just acted like you're just an option. You're a sub-bench type character. You're thinking, no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to do my own thing. The, your guides are asking you to be a lot busier with um, other things rather than focusing on this person. Because victory comes in as a timeline. It can be around about May. So what I do want to say to you is don't fall down and out when things feel like it's like a dead end, where it's like dead in the water. There's nothing really going on um, apart from what's going on with you, okay? This is what is coming up so, so strong. And the Six of Wands, victory comes in. So the Justice card does play out beautifully for you, okay? So things work out well for you, whether if it's the same person or somebody else coming in. I'm not seeing another character at the moment just yet, but that doesn't mean to say it's not gonna be coming in at all. Um, so keep doing with what you're doing. Keep in alignment with yourself first and then watch what happens. Um, I'm gonna see what the uh, oracles are coming up for you and see what they've gotta say. You've got the heart chakra. interesting isn't it because people think the heart chakra is all about romance the other person being in a relationship but it's not it's about you first how you feel about yourself and then everything else is secondary this person treat them as secondary if you're being treated less than and then watch what happens you will feel good anyway in the end I feel a lot of you are going to be noticed with a talent and a gift that you're um, kind of pursuing um, because the card at the bottom there is to daydream. So keep thinking of all the good things, guys, that you want to have. It's all very obtainable. Just don't be sidetracked by this energy if they're not delivering for you, okay? Um, they, everything comes around. You cannot have the dark without the light, the heavy without the light sort of thing. Um, and it will just kind of circulate in the way that it should do, okay? Good things are yours, Leos. They really, really are. Um, just trust in that. And look after your heart energy, okay? Look after your, you know, you could like breathe in green light. You can do many different things. Ground yourself, meditate, own your worth, and the victory, you'll feel it sooner than you think, okay? That's your express, very express general love reading overview. Um, I will be doing a more in-depth one on Sunday, uh, not a subject in particular we'll just see what is the heavier energy and apart from that guys you take care and have a beautiful thursday evening goodbye